In this session, we will look at what happens if you have individual resources who need to have their own holiday. We can see in the project view panel here that I've got four individually named structural engineers as permanent resources, and I've also assigned them to some of the tasks in my project. We're going to say that Jim Smith here wants to take a week's holiday right in the middle of this task here. Now, one way that I could do this is to create new calendars, one for each of these resources, assign the calendars to the resources, and then go into those calendars and adjust the holiday as necessary. That will work, but there is a slightly easier way of doing this, and we're going to use a function called standard work. Now, the first thing I need to do is go to my library explorer at the top of the screen here, and then I need to look for a folder called standard work. Now, by default, this might be hidden, in which case what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click at the bottom of the screen here, go to show libraries, click standard work, click the add button to move it to the list on the right, and then click OK. It will now appear at the bottom of the list here. I'm now going to right click, go to new standard work, and I'm going to call this one holiday. If I now right click on holiday and go into the properties, I can see that there's an option here to set a fill style. This is essentially how it's going to appear on the bar chart behind my resource, showing that this resource is away. So I'm going to set this to a nice, easy to spot pattern and color. Now when I go back into my project, what I need to do is assign that standard work to Jim Smith. And to do that, I right click on Jim Smith, go to properties, go to the standard work tab at the top, and then I click the add button down here. I'm going to set the standard work type to holiday. I'm then going to adjust these dates. So for example, I'm going to go with, I believe it's September the 19th, and I'm going to say he's having a week off until the 23rd. Now, if I move this window to the side, what we can see in the bar chart is that that shading has appeared behind that resource. So I've got a visual indication that he's not going to be around for that week. What it will also do is, although the week was originally a two week duration, it's now moved it to a three week duration. So the software has already calculated that it needs an extra week to complete that task because Jim's going to be away. Additionally, if I look under the standard work tab of the information here, the amount of time between these two dates that he's going to be away for is 40 hours and he's away for 100% of that time. Now with this information, I could also say, for example, that actually he's only gonna be away for half of that time. So I could set this to 50%. The adjustment in the bar chart here is now it's two weeks and 2.5 days. If, for example, Jim was just going away for one morning, he might have, uh, let's say, a dentist appointment on the 19th of September. Because I've set that now to the 19th on both dates, it's only one day, which is eight hours, but he's only away for 50% of that time, i.e. four hours. And again, the task has automatically adjusted its duration to two weeks and four hours to accommodate the extra time that is needed to complete the task. Thank you for watching this tutorial video.